Hello all, welcome to the e-office training module by Chennai GST. In this video, we shall see some of the other options that are available for receipts. Firstly, if a receipt has been wrongly sent to a person, then it can be pulled back. Now, in the sent box of our receipts, we can see that all of the receipts that have been sent. Now, at the right end, we see an icon. This is called the pullback icon. So, when this icon is clicked, the receipt comes back to our inbox. However, this icon is visible only if the receipt is unread by the receiver. For instance, the first IC, that is 21381, has already been opened by the receiver, owing to which there is no pullback icon. However, the same IC sent to a different formation person has the pullback icon. So once the pullback icon is clicked, it will ask for the remarks. Here we can enter that it has been wrongly sent. Once the remarks is captured, we can see that that receipt has come back to our inbox. So here it appears as an unread receipt because it has just arrived in the inbox. Also, it will still be in the sent box. Hence, the action is not deleted, rather it is still available and recorded. So it is recorded that 2138IC was sent and however it has been pulled back. And this other IC has already been sent. Now, when I click on this IC or receipt, and click on the details tab it shows sorry the previous one it shows that this IC has been pulled back because it is wrongly sent hence one option for wrongly sent receipts is that it can be pulled back now in case the receiver has already received and read the receipt then what can be done is that send back option can be used by the receiver. So, the receiver in his portal can click on the IC and press the send back and send it back to the person who had sent it wrongly. So, there are two options that are available. One is the pullback option by the sender. Another is the send back option by the receiver. The next option that we shall see is the copy option. Once we click an IC and click on the copy button, we see that the diary details of that receipt is automatically copied here. And here we can upload any file. This means that if the diary details are repetitive, that is we receive from the same person, we need not enter it again and again, rather click on the copy icon to fill the metadata. And further, we can merely upload the file out here. The third option that we shall see is the close option. In case action is over on a particular receipt, we can click on that receipt and click the close option. In the remarks column, it will ask us why we would request to close the receipt. Here we can mention that the action has been completed. On clicking the OK button, the concerned receipt is closed. It does not appear in the inbox anymore. Similarly, we can also use folder management. We can create a new folder for few receipts. For instance, there are two receipts that we have with respect to extension of time limit. Now, we select both these receipts and then click on move to icon and choose the create new folder. Here, we can say that it is for extension of time limit. and it can be created within the inbox. So now, once I create this folder, within my inbox, it shows that in the move to, I can move it to either inbox or extension of time limit. So another folder has been created. Next, we shall see the dispatch option. On clicking of any receipt, 
we can choose the dispatch option and here we shall submit a draft reply for the received and dispatch the same when clicking the draft when choosing the draft we can either upload a file or type in the draft column so i shall upload a doc here say a draft and it says uploaded word document will be displayed in non editable format after saving the draft to edit the uploaded document user has to download make necessary changes and then reupload so it is always better to upload as a doc format when we are doing a draft because the higher authorities may want to make some changes however in order to make changes we need to download them make the changes and again upload them so the draft has been uploaded here and here the draft details have been automatically filled now this draft type is a letter to this concerned receipt the receipt number is entered here on its own the language is filled the draft nature can be chosen it is a letter and along with that we see the communication details are also filled now we can click on the save icon to save this particular draft now we see that the draft has been saved here we can see a preview of the draft by clicking on the preview button as already mentioned it is first downloaded as a pdf and then opened so the draft content is here this is the draft that we uploaded now if we have the powers of approving then the approve icon clicks appears here so on pressing on the approve button it says once the draft gets approved no further changes can be made so here we see the draft number and the draft status dfa is mentioned dfa means draft for approval now once we click on the approve button the draft status changes to approved so here the draft has been approved and dispatch options are available dispatch by self or dispatch by cru are two options now if we are clicking dispatch by cru we see that the dispatch by cru option is available here the cru user can be chosen the delivery mode and the remarks to be dispatched now on clicking the send with follow up send with without follow up two options are available now if i press on send with follow up it takes me to this page it says desired actions information to the department necessary action information sought and so on so for instance for this draft if i want a reply then i say reply required i mention in the description that reply is needed for this draft so a due date also has to be mentioned for instance if i need to reply if i need to receive the reply within a week i choose a due date of a week and once this deadline is chosen it will give me a follow up reminder saying a reply for this draft on this date is needed now i click on the okay button now we see that the draft has been sent so this is our dispatch number i/302/220 2020 so this is the dispatch number it has been sent through the inspector in the cru and this is the receipt to which it was attached and the status is issued and sent so now we know how to reply to receipts through a draft and dispatch them hence through this video we saw various options available for receipts including the pullback option copy dispatch and so on in case of any queries you can mail me at vandana.raj@gov.in thank you